Hello, snowboarders of the internet. I'm your host, Avon Lefebvre, and in this video, we're gonna be reviewing the Ride A6 snowboard binding. I rode this binding at Copper Mountain on a day that was overcast skies, kind of a blah amount of conditions. You had okay corduroy, crappy corduroy, wind-loaded pow, chopped chunder, low visibility, and I rode it on my Ride Shadow Band snowboard with my K2 Thraxxus boots. When it comes to adjustability on this binding, you have two flip tabs, one on the toe, one on the heel. You flip it up, slide the strap up or down to center it on the boot. You have a forward lean adjustment on the high back. And then for the high back rotation, it is on a slide track with the heel strap, so you can slide that forward or backwards and rotate that high back. With the heel cup, it has two set screws, so you can pull that back or forward to center the boot. And finally, the toe ramp is on a slight slide track to move it forward or backwards to center it under your boot. Let's talk about the straps. With the heel strap, it is a two-piece design made out of urethane, which gives it a, a lot of flex. This is not a very rigid heel strap, and there is next to no padding on it. That means that all the padding will be provided by your boot instead. The cutout is nice. It does fit over the instep easily enough. With the toe strap, it has a wide cutout, even though it's got that rubber and foam in the middle of it. This will fit a multitude of boot shapes. Don't worry if you've got a blunt shaped boot, snub nose, or a pointy toe, it's gonna fit over it. Basically, the heel and toe straps worked exactly how you would want them to. They stayed locked in and they gripped well. The nice thing about the ratchets, that one finger quick release works exactly how you'd want it to. They climb well, they stay locked down. It's easy to get the torque you need to just leverage it over. Overall, the ratchets are dialed. With the high back, you get a little bit of urethane in there that does give it some play. It's rigid down the center, so it allows you to drive into it when you absolutely need to, but when you're tweaking around, it kind of gets out of the way just due to the shaping, and if you are pushing just on the outside of it, that urethane comes into play and it does have a little bit of give. You do have that flip tab forward lean. It's easy to slide that up and down on the fly to dial your forward lean in as you go. I don't know who actually dials their forward lean in as they're riding, but evidently there's someone out there that will do it. So it is a park oriented binding and the flex reflects that. You get a ton of give in the heel strap. So it's a delayed response when you're going toe to heel, but underfoot you've got that aluminum chassis, which gives more response than the composite chassis. And also with the way it's beveled, you tend to get a little bit more lateral roll from side to side, which just gives you a little bit more play before you get that response. With the footbed, it does a good job of dampening those micro vibrations, but when you hit something more aggressively or you get more jarring hits, you tend to feel it more just due to that aluminum chassis underfoot. Overall, it's not the most damp binding, but it's also not the least. It's kind of just in that middle of the road. I know for a fact that there are other bindings in the same category and price point that are more damp. So if you're looking for something more damp, this really isn't it. But if you want something more lively and responsive, it's not a bad option. Who's this binding for the heavily freestyle focused all mountain guy? So one thing to note is the A series tends to be a little bit narrower than the C series, and it's also more responsive, but less damp. You'll feel those more jarring hits with it. So just be aware of that. I also think that this actually rolls better with the natural flex of the board, just due to that bevel underneath. It's not a bad binding for what it is. Is it going to be everyone's cup of tea? No, but I think for most people, they can get away with this and use it as an all mountain freestyle binding with no problems. Comparable bindings, the Rome Vice, the Union Ultra, the Bent Metal Action. This has been my review of the Ride A6. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Do you own a pair? Are you gonna buy a pair? Leave me a comment down below. Let's have a conversation about this binding. If you're new here, remember to subscribe, click the bell, get those notifications. That way you're not missing any of the videos we got coming out for all you snowboarders of the internet. And if you really like what we're doing over here and you wanna support us further, swing on over to Angry Snowboarder VIP and become a member. Sure, I could tell you more here, but I got a video over there that explains it so much better. As always, I've been your host, Avery Lefebvre, and I'll see you in another video.